What it do, homies? It's your boy, David, and I'm back today. We're back with some more Russian Badgers. This time, we're checking out Warhammer. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Do two things and two things only. Two Purge gum. heretics and steal and, property. Oh, okay. And I already stole your property, so let's do this. Face your heresy! Okay, so the reason why I chose this is this, this video out of the mini that he has is because I've actually played this game before. It's been a while back, but I actually played it and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, but one thing that I did realize is that the lore in Warhammer is deep. I mean, honestly, just following some of the dialogue, especially like in their tactics games, I felt like I was getting a headache. I mean, such rich, very rich deep lore, and I can't even begin to touch it. But anyways, yeah. Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness is banned, peace doesn't exist, and there's only war. Abandon today, reason, so, so, so. no only today. war. In this war, it's us versus them. Us. Us being the Imperium of Man, led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And them being anybody that isn't us. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. And what's the only thing defending us from them, you might ask? Space Marines! <laughs> Get off the ship, Space Marines! Space Marines! Space Marines! <laughs> Genetically modified, just like the vegetables at the grocery store, only instead of staying ripe for long periods of time, they're crafted by the Emperor to purge heretics. Crafted. Die! We're talking two hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're talking night vision. We're talking eight foot tall, 800 pound monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. Also, um, Boogie. He lost his match against Wings. I didn't see the fight, but apparently I've heard from a lot of people that it was it was a pretty good fight, especially for people with no boxing experience, and that Boogie actually held his own. So I believe he lost, right? We are the bringers of death! Think of them as religion-fueled death machines hell-bent on exterminating any race that isn't human, while also not being racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist. We love all races. As long as they don't have green skin. These bolts gun! Or, you know, belong to a different religion. I don't know why anyone would call us racist. I'm a black priest for any of sake. Even gods may die! We don't hate any races, except orcs, and Eldar, and Dark Eldar, and Necrons, and Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeb and space communists. But at least they aren't trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand. One such chapter of Space Marine. Okay that you don't need to understand. Guys, I really tried to get into this. This is probably the only game. And I feel like when they made, I wonder if they made this game where they try to attract new people, right? Cause I know some of you are like really, really deep Warhammer fans, but uh, uh, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I didn't beat it, but I did enjoy it. Are the Ultramarines, or if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs, that are charged with exterminating the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that are stealing your shit. Clever of the damned orcs. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value, absolute. So I'm I'm guessing that's pretty important then. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. I'm gonna start using that as a measurement of value. Absolute. That's amazing. I can't wait to <laughs> Strategic value absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value absolute. You occupy the role of Captain Titus, I a soft-spoken junior it. officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong that's joined by an OG sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandros that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rulebook called a codex. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. For the Emperor! To be perfectly clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only with mods out the ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected crit marine, crit marine. I played as a blood marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. Die, scum! No prisoners! For the Emperor! 
So if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War and would rather play as a Blood Raven than an Ultramarine Smurf Blueberry. None of this is really important unless they're purging and also, spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge ass titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children that shouldn't even exist. Hey, get back here. Don't run away from me. Why do you even exist? Why? Come on. All the way up to the orc war boss Grimskull himself, who was basically Shrek in his final form. You try to steal my giants? Steal my loot? Does anybody ever play that? Um, it's a mobile game. I believe it was called like Tactics, like Final Tactics Advance or something like that. There's an orc in there, and I don't know which came first, but that's what this reminded me of. I forgot what it's called. It's a tactics. It is a tactics game. Very shiny. I'll rip your guts right out your throat. Equally as diverse are the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with, from a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter, because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy bolter for this heresy. The quickest way to purge through scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple hit combos, but believe it or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's right. These guys are so draconian, the they don't need to enemies. pick up health kits, because the enemies are the health kits. <laughs> Just crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Yeah, you know what? This was actually this was actually very good on the developer's part, right? Because it kind of forces you to to engage in a melee, right? And there's obviously going to be some parts where the gun, but you know, you can't I don't think you could cheese the game. Maybe you can. Cuz Hey, it's been so long since I played this game, but I don't remember having to cheese. I remember having to do melee because I needed to heal. It was great. It was a great game. I have Yum. Your melee weapon of choice is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for cutting things, while you're also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. On the Cut other section. hand, or rather with both hands, the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, but it also hits like a bus, running a stop sign in a school zone. Hey yo, Orc, are you Elon Musk? I'm about to send your ass into outer space. And you've got a power okay. axe in between those two extremes. And I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition when you use it. And I'm oddly okay with that. <laughs> If you want to get fancy, you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. Die, so it's safe to say that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does Emperor. approve. I said, save so I think I stunned too hard. I'm stuck in the terrain. Brother. Brother, I am stuck in the terrain. Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? Brother. Brother! Brother, I am pinned here! Eventually, you'll realize you can't just slice Brother. your way through the game. Brother. <laughs> Chaos Marines and their pedantic piece of shit leader meme rock. <laughs> that noise cannot defeat me! And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. Or, more specifically, bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you call this thing an assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arms. Because it may be it's used like an assault rifle, assault. Assault. only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon, or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 998, which... Should actually be a 75 cal according to the lore. That's essentially like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating its target, making it almost into an assault rifle RPG hybrid. That, that kind of makes sense, right? Because if I'm thinking about like Master Chief, right, from Halo, right, if you're going to be augmented, then naturally you'll be able to handle augmented guns. Um, Robocop comes to mind as well. How many fucking robots does this place have? Are we invading an Imperium outpost or an Amazon headquarters? I should have never canceled my prime. You have downward variants and upward variants like the bolter pistol in case you've got something heavy in your hands and my personal favorite the stalker bolter which is the most satisfying sniper rifle i've ever had the privilege of using just like sesame street you ready and one and two and three uh, not uh, three uh, uh, not four five 
I'm really glad that all the orcs saw that are about to be burned, because that was embarrassing. If you absolutely, positively have to expend as many rounds as possible, the Storm Bolter does exist, which is like a double-barreled LMG that's cool for the first five minutes that you use it. The rate of fire of the Storm Bolter? Perfection. The accuracy of the Storm Bolter? Eh, just put them anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. But better alternatives do exist, because the game gives you four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and- Fuck, 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 there's way too many- fuck. I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game, because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna need two bolters for this heresy. But once I started fighting the forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker for the last cannon, or or laser cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan laser that was clearly superior because here's me killing a Chaos Marine with a bolter. Hey yo. Thank the Emperor. I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. Bruh. And here's me doing the same deed with a las cannon slash laser cannon. By the Emperor, that's powerful. For your heavy slot, it's all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? A Vengeance Launcher. <laughs> that sounds promising. Even a flame-bursting shotgun vengeance. exists, but all of these specialized weapons rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't Ask me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor. It's a long story. But the channeling argument. your inner Dark Souls character to kite enemies. I, I'm sitting here thinking about uh, Fallout and something to do with kinetic servos or something like that. I don't know. Some type of bolts and balls and, and, and links that's letting them roll. But they also are augmented. So they probably could roll in tons and tons of. As a matter of fact, lore wise, how heavy do their suits? How heavy is our suit? See now, see, see what this does to you? It just makes you want to go read up on it. Before you know it, you're all sucked into it. This much armor, it's a long story. But channeling your inner Dark Souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster is a kite, significant kite. portion of your playthrough. It's even useful in boss fights because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves? Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, baby! How does it feel like a crumped by a member of your own race? On that note, there are even these little Mike Wazowski looking dudes called squigs that explode on impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, squig merch. Merge into the group. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. But as I was saying, you won't always be running Kinda or rolling like through the awesome, terrain uh, because serious, eventually you'll gain access Sam to a jump pack, stuff. which when combined with a thunder hammer is like an NBA dunk contest mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside of LeBron, five seconds left. Cover LeBron leaps. Wow. Oh, my Emperor. LeBron James. This jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. I fucking love my commute! And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything. And that's called Fury. If being a space marine wasn't already super soldier enough, you can channel like Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and, well, deliver heretics. merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity, punctuated with curve so stomps that are extra bro. earth trembling. Oh, that never gets old. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass space marine, here's your shot. <laughs> aspect of the game that I love more than the combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We yeah. find a way to destroy the gun. 
So you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game for being just running and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years, I still don't know. Hey look, a lift! But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't look like you. Ah, stop! It does a good job. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitch, but I don't apologize to Xeno. The story isn't all Stop that important, resisting. seeing as the game only takes five to six hours to beat, and the best character is Orc Warboss Grimskull, because he's the only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. <laughs> That accent. Is that is that British? <laughs> Not that my second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Bro. It is the Bane Blade! You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. <laughs> We don't have the numbers to make an assault. Oh, and as you goodness. might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. Engaging warp spider! Ah! A warp me, spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're gonna hate the final the boss fight with Mimoth, who's obsessed with becoming ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game is about the game play, not about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something, crash his way! It's not about the plotting, it's about the purging! The end. And that's about it. But before I go, I wanted to mention as of me recording this video right Bruh. now, it is $7 on Steam. This is in no way a sponsored video. I'm pretty sure Relic, the guys that made it, don't even exist anymore. Of course, Sega still exists, but I don't think Relic is around mm. anymore. So from an this unbiased position, ago, right? if you have $7 yeah. on you that you're not going to spend on your next meal, I now. highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand, Warhammer 40k is fascinating. So again, $7 $7, totally worth it. Thanks yeah, very much for watching, and be sure to tune I mean, in next I mean, time when we make fun if you, of if you, the salamanders. If you wasn't a fan of the game, like I said, I, I believe this was the first Warhammer game that I ever played, and I was just so blown away. I don't know why I didn't finish it. I think, is he four years ago? Where was I at? Uh, I was out of college. Life must have just got too busy. I, I still, to this day, don't have time to play games, so I, I enjoy my experiences it was expeditiously or vicariously through other people his reactions so that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like like and subscribe Whew. dave's out